Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's news from BSNN, the Berrien Springs News Network. I'm Dave Smith. And I'm Josiah Everett. Now, what news do we have for our viewers today? Well, we have a stock market crash, Olympic gold medals, a tes Tesla Roadster fly through space, and quite possibly, the end of the world. All right, wow. Well, on our first story... But then, first, here's the weather. Wait, what? Thanks, Josiah. I hope everyone's been enjoying the snow because we're going to be getting a lot more of it. We have a massive winter storm on its way from the north, and it's... Uh, over to the right. What? The gestures, you're, you're nowhere near the storm on the map. It's a green screen. It's not like I can actually see any of this. Whatever. Keep going. Thank you. Now, we're expecting a record 24 to 30 inches of snow over the next few days which is expected to close many places of business for an unknown amount of time, but not the universities. Andrews Universities recently had a snow day fulfilling their quota for the next decade. Snowshoes are expected to be distributed to the students very soon. Back to you, Josiah. Thank you. Now next on our... Good evening, ladies. We're past that part. Uh, oh, really? Sweet. Well, wh where are we at now? Well, we just got into our celebrity interview Oh yeah, I knew they were going to interview me after I won the Anchorman of the Year award last year. Uh, no, we're not interviewing you, and you didn't win that award last year. I should have. Perch Perkins can go Back on the subject. Alright, so who are we interviewing? Oh, are we interviewing Harrison Ford today? No. Beyonce? No. The President? Definitely not. The Vice President? No. Speaker of the House. Why him? Well, he would be third in line for the interview. Never mind. Guess that's a no. Yep. Then who is it? Hi, my name is Josiah Everton. Today, we have Latoya Jackson, um, wife of current NBA star T. Roy Jackson. Um, I just like to say it is so nice to have you here today. Um, how are you? Um, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, I, I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Oh, okay, um, so LaToya, according to TMZ, we got some uh, documents of maybe some divorce papers. Um, can you confirm or deny that, um, is this something that you two may be going through? Um, I th all my publicist has allowed me to say is that my husband T-Roy and I are getting a divorce um, in light of the circum um, recent circumstances. Wow. Um, I, I, this is, this is crazy. This is news. Um, I do know that your fans will be a little upset because we really did ship you and his relationship. I, yes. I think it was really, it was a good one and, and it's sad to hear that this is what it's come to. But, um, on a good note, we hear your fashion line is going beautifully. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Oh, I definitely will. Um, so my fashion line, which will be launching in spring 2019, wow. will be called Slipstream. It's inspired by the ocean, and basically my designs are, um, they're just based off of how wavy I am wow. uh, as a person. So I felt like my design should reflect who I am as a character, as a person. So I'm very excited. All of my designers are just working very hard. I'm working very hard. I can't wait to show everyone. Wow. Well, I do know that we will continue to support you because you seem like you will be doing big things in 2019. Um, Latoya, it was so nice having you. It was great to be um, here. I hope you have a good trip back home. And uh, back to you, Bob. Who's Bob? <clears throat> well, that was a very interesting interview. That it was. You think, uh, you think so? I wasn't there. I have no idea. Next, we'll take a look at the breaking news that's shocking the whole earth right now. All right, finally, I've been waiting for forever to find out this news. Right after this commercial break. You've got to be kidding me. We're live again. <laughs> Why does no one tell me these things? Ugh. Welcome back to the BSNN, everyone. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, breaking news. What's our first story for today? Our first story today comes from the Andrews University Kazebo, where the line reached a record length yesterday, totaling to over four miles. The line at the Kazebo spans far past the reaches of the campus, and experts believe that this is to be due to a number of problems. So, suggest the frequent closure of the grill is to blame. 
Others suggest opening the second register would help to solidify the weight. The gazebo has declined to comment, however, on the operational status of the second register. Guess I'll be going to the calf for lunch. Our next news story of the day comes from a much different environment, the moon. The moon? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a big rock that floats out in space, but that's not important right now. NASA recently detected an impact on the surface of the moon. We don't yet know what caused this, so to get to the bottom of this, we have senior reporter Brandy on the scene. Wait, how did... That's the green screen, right? No. But, wait, how did they even get there? That's what you're most concerned about right now? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we'll have to get back to you later on that story. I'm afraid that's all the time we uh, have. Uh, how are we going to get back? Huh? Oh, that's easy. We'll, ju we'll just... Uh-oh. Hey, Brandy, we're just going to have you chill there for a little while while we think of a way to get you back. I is that all right? Well, I, I, I'm going to assume you said yes. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoyed today's broadcast, and we'll see you again tomorrow on the Berrien Springs News Network. Where we put the fun in dysfunctional.